With your Concho Valley weather, here's meteorologist Robert McAleese. Well, we're taking a look at the rain totals from the past 24 hours. Lake Coleman picked up an extra hundredth of an inch this morning. There was a uh, aerial flood advisory until 10:15 this morning. Other than that, though, mostly the southern half of the Concho Valley got all of the action here in San Angelo. We didn't pick up any rain whatsoever. Uh, six tenths of an inch in El Dorado, as well as east northeast of Junction. Menard got right around half an inch. But temperatures have dropped significantly from 24 hours ago thanks to a cold front that pushed through. You can see 14 deg uh, degrees cooler than yesterday here in San Angelo, 17 degrees cooler up in Abilene, 18 degrees cooler cooler in Dallas. So definitely feeling the effects here in the Lone Star State and right here at Mathis Field, 74 degrees. Dew point is 62, so it's come up just a little bit, but it's still a relatively cool and crisp day and an east-northeast wind at 8 miles an hour is going to help us stay cool all the way through the afternoon hours. Now you can see there were some showers that pushed through uh, Coleman County earlier that warranted a aerial flood advisory for the northeastern portion of that county until 10:15. Obviously that has expired and the showers are are out of our hair and they're going to stay that way for the rest of this afternoon into tonight. This cold front that I mentioned earlier has made its way all the way south of the Concho Valley, so temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler. But as for the rain, we're not going to see any more here in the Concho Valley. The only chance for any additional rain will fall south of I-10 corridor and then we're going to we're going to be mostly sunny as we move into our afternoon tomorrow. So looking like a very nice day on hand today as well as tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and jump towards our forecast now. We're on forecasting 88 degrees today for the high and the showers are ending now as we get through this midday show. We're going to be partly sunny, becoming mostly sunny as we move throughout the later part of the afternoon. Overnight we will be partly cloudy, lows bottoming out at about 70 degrees and then for Tomorrow we are going to warm up just a little bit, 95 degrees, but we will be mostly sunny as well. So taking a look at the seven-day forecast here, you can see uh, 88 degrees today, warming up to 95 tomorrow. Mostly sunny conditions uh, lingering until Saturday, but rain uh, chances move back in on Sunday and Monday. I'm only giving it a 20% chance now, but I'll be keeping my eye on that for y'all. And then by Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be mostly sunny once again with temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. We'll be